GM, and welcome to the monthly review. We got the Common Stack monthly review. We used to do sprint reviews, but now we're moving to a, a, a little bit easier of a cadence. And uh, this is a huge month for the Common Stack. We really are setting up our whole year with what we've accomplished this month. And honestly, the, there is this amazing video that I have to show you that will really uh, tell you the big news that's happening with us. So let me see if I can share my screen. There it is. Okay. Imagine this. In every major startup ecosystem around the world, a local impact DAO emerges with a single unified mission to regenerate the earth using the most powerful tools of our time. Blockchain, artificial intelligence, remote sensing, satellite imagery, whole. It's time to begin a new story, to create a new world with a new set of values. The story is regeneration. Refi DAO and Common Stack are launching a global prize to incubate the first three impact DAOs in strategic startup systems all around the world. If you're an experienced founder called to the story of regeneration, if you're committed to seeing your city and your people, your land come back into harmony with the earth, if you're willing to practice radical collaboration with people you never dreamt possible, then this is for you. We would be so incredibly grateful for your support because we're in the. Yeah, thank you. That that is that incredible video was made by John Ellison, our new partner uh, in this joint venture. The the and I'll let Tam actually explain all about it. Well, thanks. And uh, it's January or it's February, actually. Right? Where did January go? Happy New Year and uh, Happy Year of the Rabbit. If you also celebrate Chinese New Year. Um, so yeah, this is the, our big exciting news that we're very excited to share. I'm just gonna figure out how to share on Zoom, which we use once a month now. <laughs> uh, and so our, our big news is we're partnering, uh, we have a joint venture, Common Stack and Refi DAO. We're gonna co-create a Refi Commons incubator. And what we want to do is accelerate the growth of the refi movement, but do it from the bottom up. So grounds up um, initiatives. Uh, we're piloting a new concept called a refi commons. There'll be regional commons supporting regenerative finance, whatever that looks like in their own backyard. So Bogota is going to decide what regenerative finance should look like for Bogota and be able to support local on the ground missions there. The incubator is going to provide strategic support, tooling, and know-how to incubate these commons. And um, other exciting news is how do we choose the regions or how the, do the regions nominate themselves? In order to do this, we are also co-launching a Refi Commons prize to allow regions to self-nominate, but also de demonstrate their eligibility in order to, uh, to launch a commons locally. We're going to pilot about three regions. We're still debating on the exact number, but something around three. And that means any region anywhere in the world will have the chance to launch their own refi commons very soon. Uh, our own Amelia is going to be the program developer for the incubator, bringing her experience from Extinction Rebellion and her deep soul alignment with regenerative finance and commons. So I don't think we could have a better person. And our own Usama is going to be the project manager for a refi common prize. He did such an amazing job for the Commons Prize last year, so he'll take all that knowledge and I'm sure uh, uh, do a great job here. So more news to come uh, at our February review, but for now I'll pass to Griff to give us an update on our Gitcoin Grants Alpha Round. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, so... The announcement was really just in time to start uh, the Gitcoin round, uh, Gitcoin's alpha round, and it was very well received. In fact, I would say that basically our joint venture won the alpha round. We got the most unique donors and I think second most don in, no donations. So I'm sure that that will take us over the top and, and we're going to get the largest share of $333,000 in this matching pool uh, from the climate round. So that was super, that's amazing. What a great reception for this incredible opportunity to work with some of the leading minds in the refi space, not just refi DAO, but all those cool projects that they're connected to. Uh, this is uh, this is just huge for us. So um, very happy about that. And of course, Common Stack also was uh, in the open source round, which there were a lot more projects in and was much more 
contested. You can see there was uh, 76,000 donated in the climate round and half a million dollars donated in the open source round. But we still did pretty well. We still got 506 unique donors there as well. And we'll get a, a, a good share of this matching pool. So thank you all for helping. If you, I'm sure anyone who watched this probably donated to us on Gitcoin too. So thank you so much. Like seriously, it means so much to us and it really helps us out. We are definitely always looking for more funding uh, and, and our financials are pretty tough right now. So, uh, so this was huge for us and I think it's going to help us out a lot. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll uh, talking about more funding. Actually, Ivy, do you want to tell us about the grants? Sure. Oh, thanks, Rick. Let me share my screen a little bit. Um, yeah, so uh, speaking of uh, grants, we're excited to share that uh, Palmasac has also been nominated for two grants, uh, Dow Drops and uh, Optimism Retro PGF to uh, receive retroactive funding for the work that we've been doing. So um, Dow Drops, uh, uh, the grant nominations for Dow Drops closed uh, yesterday, and they are now creating the, the short list of 50 eligible nominees. Uh, so we're hoping to make it to the list and uh, get the uh, majority of the voters' support. And on the uh, Optimism Retro PGF side, uh, we'll be also submitting a grant proposal next week to be eligible for, uh, for voting. So if you have voting badges for uh, Optimism Retro PGF round uh, uh, two, uh, please, please do support common stuff so we can still continue working on our common deployment protocols. So um, stay tuned for, uh, to our Twitter page for uh, more updates on, our, uh, on, our, on these grants. Uh, who should I pass it to? Uh, to, uh, pass it to Emilia. It's me. Thank you, Ivy. So related to our rebranding, our creative strategies, boots, it's been a long process and it's been really, we are really committed to express our identity. And now we have some visuals. So we've been in this process of rebranding. And I let me share a little bit, just a little bit, because we are in process. So nothing is really close we are in this process so we have some we have we did some sessions now we have this uh, new identity so we, we we've been where, working with the concept of collaborations and the dynamics and the systems that creates the connectivity between the parts so we've been working on these feedback sessions and these proposals then we have and a detour of color. And now we are working a little bit more on our brown heart, defining really specific our purpose, how's our vision, mission, and our value proposition, focusing really uh, on commons and how to bring the commons culture into the Web3 space. This is something that we are really excited to, to share soon, but for now, you will have to, to wait a little bit. So that's uh, that's everything on me, and I'll pass it to I think who's next. Uh, I'll take it from here. Thank you. Um, so we're going to talk a little, just very briefly, some of the upcoming uh, conferences and talks that are happening, and I'll do another share screen. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Uh, cool. So on Monday. Uh, Griff is speaking at uh, ETH Tel Aviv, um, and this is the subject. We're going to be joined in good company with Hadar from Good Do Dollar, Letty from Regions Living, Tomer from Flory Ventures, Oksana from Gosh Blockchain, um, Ortel from Urban Change, and Manu from Doing Good. So uh, I think it's going to be partly some talks and part panel. And then uh, ETH Denver is coming up for anyone that will be there. Um, there will be a few of us there, so come say hi. Griff for sure will be there. I for sure will be there. Um, so if you uh, plan to be there, do reach out to us because we'd love to hang out with people in our community. Uh, and ETH Porto is another uh, talk that's coming up, uh, another conference that's coming up. I am giving a talk here. I'm actually really excited about it. The name of the talk is Dive into the Ra Crypto Rabbit Hole. It's so much more than what you've heard. And it's really uh, aimed at like people in the governance, people in, in corporate and traditional organizations, researchers, academics who maybe aren't so familiar and are going to be learning about uh, crypto for you know the, the first or second time. 
So uh, I get to dispel a whole bunch of myths and that's always fun to do. Uh, and um, yeah, I guess I'll pass to Griff now. We're gonna talk about some things that are going on in the rest of the ecosystem. Yeah, let's see if I can get that shared screen to work. Uh, um, yeah, so I launched an awesome podcast uh, called GM. Uh, I've had a, three episodes so far. Actually, the third one comes out today. It, it will be, I think this gets released next week, but it uh, comes out on Friday. So the one today is about actually Web3 in Iran. Very interesting topic. Probably my favorite so far. Although really close was this one with Almond, who actually is really running the podcast. I just show up and, and have fun and get to interview people, but Almond's doing all the work behind the scenes. So major praise to you, Almond, for sure. And uh, yeah, and, and I also did one on public nouns. Uh, I've done a few, we've done a few podcasts and they've all been good. The first one was What is Money with Brett Scott, another uh, big fan and and a uh, big fan of the common stack and and member of our community. So that's super cool. You can actually subscribe on Spotify if you want, or you can watch it on YouTube or we live stream on Twitter uh, every Friday. Although we're only doing five. Uh, the last one will actually be with John from uh, Refi Dow, And then we'll take a break until after ETH Denver and, and reassess. So that's exciting. And uh, also in, in other ecosystem news, Giveth, of course, is uh, doing lots of stuff but the biggest thing is probably that you'd be interested is we're running the impact track for ETH Denver. So that's going to be super fun. If you're coming to ETH Denver, make sure to stop by the Giveth booth. We'll have impact quests. We'll have interesting uh, things that you can do to interact with the local community and actually make an impact while you're going to the conference. Uh, so definitely check us out in, in at, at ETH Denver. Uh, Praise just hired actually uh, a CEO, uh, like kind of, we don't really have CEOs in the space, but uh, the equivalent of someone who's going to actually help turn Praise into its own uh, startup and, and really do the fundraising and all that. Her name's Justina. If you see her around, uh, definitely say hello. And in other news, we also got uh, Praise got added to Bankless DAO, Shapeshift, and several other uh, major communities. So uh, big things are moving for praise. So that's very exciting. And maybe Ivy, you could tell us about what's going on in the Trusted Seed. Sure. Um, yeah, so uh, updates from Trusted Seed. Uh, last month, uh, we have started building a comprehensive report uh, that will document all the uh, learning sessions uh, from the uh, conference last year. And this report will be a collaborative effort between the trusted team and some uh, unconference hosts and uh, participants who volunteer to uh, to contribute to the report. So um, we're hoping to finish the report this month, this February, and share it widely in our ecosystem. So um, watch out for the release. And I'll also drop the uh, volunteer sign-up link in this video for those who are interested in uh, being part of the uh, uh, of the report. Also, just uh, yesterday, uh, the Trusted Board held their uh, monthly meeting. So the board and our team are currently improving the membership terms uh, to provide more value to the uh, members and the, uh, the Trusted community. So if you have recently applied to join the Trusted Seed, um, there might be a bit of a delay in the review of your uh, application. But um, rest assured that the gardeners will uh, reach out to you once the new terms are ready and they're able to review your application. So um, that's those are all the updates from Trusted. I pass it to Tam for updates from TEC. Cool. So Token Engineering Commons is still doing really well. The organizational transformation is well underway. In fact, I'd say it's like it's almost behind. There's a really tight coordination team. They have really good cohesion, uh, really active contributors showing up on the regular Tuesdays and Thursdays calls. Um, we're moving forward with setting up as well an advisory team, an initiative that I'm spearheading to help bring some more external perspective into the TEC and some uh, expertise and advice and strategy and uh, the issues that, uh, that the TEC face. There is continued tight collaboration between Token Engineering Academy and the TEC. Um, Griff and Gideon, I would say, and Angela are the, the people that are mostly involved in this. There's work being done to accept the TEC as a payment token and, this, and the Academy for certificates 
And uh, as we share so many common goals, it makes a lot of sense to bring these two communities closer and closer together. Uh, NT from the uh, TEC presented this week alternative grant mechanisms. So he's looking at um, different grant, wait here, maybe I'll share my screen and, and I have this up, I think. So he shared uh, some of his uh, initial thinking around nouns style small grants, grant gills, and uh, probably the most exciting one was possibly using Gitcoin grants protocol in order for the TEC to match um, donations using quadratic funding. So these three uh, new grants ideas could be really cool. And of course, the token engineering Commons has a forum where there is a lot of new posts. So if you want any more updates, just check that regularly as well. And I guess that that wraps it up for today. For January, I'll pass back to Griff. Yeah, and we always, you know, we always get all the credit here on screen for all the work that we do, but it's such a team effort across our ecosystem, obviously. Uh, and, and so we always end with praise. Uh, I want to give major praise to Livia, who's not here. She's off in the jungle enjoying some vacation. It's good, uh, a healthy time. So uh, major praise to Olivia for all that she did this month to help help us uh, help us in the TEC uh, and also help us with the um, actually refi commons work. Uh, major praise. I also want to praise Almond for all the work she does in the podcast, makes it happen, find, uh, schedules everything, and makes sure that it does all the editing. Superstar, rock star. I'm gonna praise Yas for the work that she's been doing helping us fundraise. Uh, it's been really helpful and really uh, like finding all the leads for uh, for grants. Is, it's a lot of work and she's doing it well. And of course, John Ellison and Daryl, like you guys are heroes. So excited to be partners with you in this joint venture. Uh, it's it's really amazing to see what skills you guys are bringing to the table, and it's just a joy to work with you. And uh, thank you for putting in so much work on the Gitcoin grants round, especially as your you guys really made that a success. So thank you so much. Uh, also Pranav and Almond and Milk Money. And I, I got invited to a lot of Twitter spaces from a lot of different people. So major praise to everyone who's host, who's hosting Twitter spaces during the Gitcoin Alpha round to help bring awareness to all the things that were happening. Uh, and also to Lauren and uh, and everyone else who, I know Lauren represented Refi, uh, the Refi Commons grant in several uh, several tour spaces, and I'm sure many other people did too. And that's probably enough praise. Uh, I'll throw it over to Tam. Oh, cool. I'm also going to praise John and Daryl from uh, Refi DAO. Their insight initiative vision so strong. I feel like we're so aligned with each other and we're so aligned on what we can do. And I feel honored to be working with each of them. Uh, as well, Marcelo and Hereward from Refi Spring. Uh, it feels like we're building not just a team together, but a family. And I um, I mean, I couldn't be more excited. Um, in the TC, you know, the people who show up, the regulars and the coordination calls, Gideon, NT Bear, Bianca, Wanka, Mitch. It's really uh, great that we are still moving things forward in the TEC and mostly because of your dedication to the TEC. Um, who else have I got? Uh, Jean from Regens, uh, John and the team from Regens Unite for putting uh, ETH Tel Aviv together, uh, or at least the Regens uh, track of ETH Tel Aviv. That was really cool. And it happened so fast. You really pushed things together in record time. Sarah from ETH Porto, to, who invited us to speak there. Thanks. Uh, I look forward to, uh, to meeting you in person. Prishel, for making sure people get paid. Prishel, you're a rock star, and <laughs> I really appreciate you. Uh, and Yaz, for um, just being so thoughtful and kind and considerate and bringing common stock into the Gil Give with Galaxy grants team. I, it really helps us a lot and uh, helps us to be working with you. And I'll pass to Usama. Thanks. Um, yeah, I praise Milk Money and Daryl for joining our praise kickoff sessions and also DK as well and uh, giving some good recommendations on how they can implement uh, the praise within Drify. I praise Christopher uh, for presenting such a good demonstration on praise during our uh, kickoff session with Drify. I praise Joan for a great video on regeneration and uh, how CS uh, Refi joint venture can play a big part in it. And I praise T for all the work he has been doing in the Twitter communications. So yeah, uh, that's it from my side. I will pass to media.
Thank you, Sama. And it, this might be redundant, but I have to praise John Ellison from Refi DAO. We had our first 101, and he made a great introduction about the Refi, the, the Refi DAO ecosystem. He sent me a lot of links, and so it was really inspiring uh, our first uh, encounter. Also, I would like to praise Christopher on his for his feedback on on our rebranding. His his input has been really useful and helpful. Also, happy, uh, I would like to praise Frischel. She's always on, on there right on time to make sure that everybody gets our payments. And thank you, Frischel, for all your uh, patience with me also. And I will pass it to Ivy. Thanks, Emilia. Yeah, my praise is short. Um, I want to praise T and Sama for supporting our Twitter account while I was away. I want to praise uh, Maria for nominating uh, Trustseed also in the Dow Drops grant. And I want to praise Max, Chris, Jeff, Betty, Maria, and Dinesi for making time for the uh, Trustseed board meeting and continuing to improve the uh, value of the, uh, of the association. This is from me. I pass it back to you. Uh, thank you, Ivy. And thank you for listening to our January review. Uh, we'll see you next month. Bye, everyone. <laughs>